Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing the Snowflake Naked Body Lotion. Now, I don't think I've actually formally reviewed a naked body lotion on this channel before. I have done it for naked body conditioners and I wasn't too impressed by those formulas, but I thought I would give a naked body lotion a go. So here we go. Now, unfortunately, you cannot currently get this naked body lotion. This is a Christmas 2019 product. Um, I'm not sure if they're bringing it back this year. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think they might be bringing back a Snow Fairy Naked Body Conditioner. Um, and I think there might be a Naked Body Lotion or two in the current all year round range. So just go onto your local Lush website and double check and yeah, check it all out there. But anyway, this Naked Body Lotion, uh, I'm just going to go through a couple of the main sort of ingredients. So it's got Alipay butter, fair trade organic cocoa butter, almond milk, apricot kernel oil, tapioca starch, kwapku butter, Japan wax, rose water, sunflower wax, perfume, fair trade almond oil, cedarwood oil, coriander seed oil, sandalwood oil, almond essential oil, and some other little bits and pieces. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Snowflake or the Snow Cake scent family, they're both under the same sort of thing. This is basically a sweet almond scent. Pretty similar to marzipan. If you've ever had a wedding cake with that uh, white icing on it that tastes like almonds, that's basically what marzipan is. Um, it's yeah, it is very, very sweet and very nutty and almond-like. Now, when I smell this version of it, it is pretty similar to the Snowflake Body Lotion, the regular one. Um, I would say that this is a little more sweeter than the other body lotion. And I would say that this is a little bit more spicier. I wouldn't... Spice is probably the wrong word, but you can definitely notice sort of the woodsy notes and the richness of the scent is a little bit more pronounced in this form of the product so that's what i'm noticing anyway but they're pretty similar in scent if you've ever tried the snowflake um, body lotion uh, and the snow cake perfume if you've ever had that before that was a limited edition thing back in 2019 as well uh, fairly similar as well in terms of scent so yeah it, it's pretty much on the money in that respect now to use this product, you just glide it over your body. I use the top of the product, as you can see. Pretty interesting looking. And funnily enough, I had a pretty easy time using this product. I think because it's not overly hot where I am at the moment. It's quite cool still. We're going into spring from winter at the moment uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. So, yeah, I haven't tested this out in overly hot weather. Uh, but yeah, definitely these products, you've got to be careful in hot weather, the naked products with lots of oils in them because they can melt. But I had a really good experience using this. It glided on the skin very, very smoothly. It didn't feel overly greasy. It, it just felt really good on the skin and just did a really nice job of moisturizing. Now, the scent was perfect, I would say, for the product and the amount that it dispensed. It didn't feel like I was overly scented or there wasn't enough power in the scent, I thought it did a really good job in balancing that. And look, Snowflake and Snow Cake, that scent family is definitely not one of my favorites. I'm not a huge pan of, pan, fan of marzipan scents, there we go. Um, I, I just, I don't like marzipan to eat either. I just find it just tastes vile. Sorry, I just can't get behind it. The fake marzipan that they usually use for wedding cakes, not the stuff that bakers make from scratch. But um, yeah, it, it, it's just not my cup of tea. It's too sweet for my liking usually. And it's just, I don't know, I just don't like it very much. I don't like nuttiness with too much sweetness. I just feel it, it's a bit too much for me. But I was genuinely pleasantly surprised by this i think it's actually a really nice scent to put in a solid lotion because it just carries really nicely and it doesn't go to that stage where it's sickeningly sweet and over the top so i think lush did a really good job with this product i now looking at a rating i do think i think five out of five would be appropriate look this scent is definitely not my favorite scent of body lotion that i've ever tried but I still think it's a really nice scent and I was really impressed with the product itself. And yeah, I was really surprised, um, you know, 
completely different to the body conditioners that I've tried in the past. The naked ones, they're just way too greasy, way too oily. I wasn't impressed by them. But this isn't too bad, actually. And I would recommend picking up the body lotions in the naked format and just giving them a try and seeing how you like them. I think it's worth a try. So, yeah, it definitely gets my stamp of approval. So thank you very much for watching this Lush review. I really appreciate it. Please let me know what other Lush reviews you would like me to do. Or if you're looking for a specific Lush review, let me know down below. I might be able to help you out. But until next time, take care and I do hope to see you again. Bye for now.